Hello children, in this lesson we are going to do subtraction of two decimal numbers representing capacity. But before that let's take some simple problems without decimal numbers to understand the units first. Let's say you want to do subtraction of 5 liter minus 2 liter. So we write 5 liter minus 2 liter like this underline and then we write the result also is liter because both the units are in liters. So 5 minus 2 is 3. So the answer is 3 liter. Very simple, right? Let's take a little bigger number. Let's say you had 80 liter and you want to subtract 48 liters from it. So you do 80 liter minus 48 liter underline and we write liter below it. Now do you do subtraction? Very similar to two digit subtraction. So you do start from the ones position then move to the tens position. 0 minus 8. We cannot do it because 8 is greater than 0. So we do it borrowing. 0 tells to its left neighbor, can I borrow a 1 from you? 8 says sure. 8 becomes 7 and 1 comes here. So it becomes 0 becomes 10. Now we can do 10 minus 8 because now 8 is lesser than this number. So 10 minus 8 is 2. The 7 minus 4 is 3. So the answer is 32 liters. Don't forget the unit. The problem was in liters, so the answer is also in liters. Let's take a problem of milliliter. 400 milliliter minus 400 milliliter. So the answer is also going to be in milliliter. So and we start from the rightmost position. 0 minus 0, 0. 0 minus 0, 0. 4 minus 4, 0. So the answer is 0 milliliter. Let's take another problem. 670 milliliter minus 200 milliliter. Again, start from the rightmost digit. In the answer, we write milliliter first, then we start from the rightmost digit. 0 minus 0 is 0. 7 minus 0 is 7. 6 minus 2 is 4. So, answer is 470 milliliter. Let's take a problem of liter as well as milliliter. So, 44 liter and 200 milliliter minus 35 liter and 150 milliliter. So, we write liter on the left side, milliliter on the right side and put a small dotted line here. And then we start doing a subtraction from the rightmost digit, which is from here. And we keep going to the left. So, 0 minus 0 is 0. 0 minus 5 is, we cannot do it, so we need to do borrowing. So, 0 tells to its left neighbor 2, can I borrow 1? She says, sure. From 2, I will be reduced by 1, so I become 1. And this 1 comes here. So, 0 became 10. Now, I can do 10 minus 5, just 5. To the left neighbor, 1 minus 1, 0. 4 minus 5, again, we cannot do it because 5 is greater than 4. So we go to the left neighbor and say, can I borrow a 1? 4 says, sure. I'll become 3. And you take the 1, you became 14. So 14 minus 5 is 9. Then go to the last left thing, which is 3 minus 3 is 0. So the answer is 9 liters and 50 milliliter. Remember, 0, 5, 0 milliliter means 50 milliliter. Correct? So now let's take a problem of decimal. 3.700 liter minus 2.200 liter. What does it mean? 3.700 liter means 3 liters and 700 milliliter. 2.200 liter means 2 liters and 200 milliliter. And ensure after decimal point there are at least th there are 3 digits. If there are no three digits, you add, add zeros before it to make it three digits because we know one liter is equal to 1000 milliliter. So we need to have three digits here. How many zeros are there in 1000? Three zeros, right? So we need to have three digits here to represent the milliliter correctly. And now we start doing the subtraction from the rightmost digit. 
So we write liter here in the answer, decimal point exactly below it, all the three are aligned to each other, 0 minus 0 is 0, 0 minus 0 is 0, 7 minus 2 is 5, 3 minus 2 is 1. So the answer is 1.500 liter or in other words 1 liter and 500 milliliter. Let's take another problem. 16.150 liter minus 13.300 liter. Again we write decimal below decimal, liter below liter, ensure there are three digits in the after the decimal point and then we start doing subtraction. 0 minus 0 is 0, starting from the rightmost position and moving left side. 5 minus 0 is 5, 1 minus 3, oops, we cannot do it because 3 is greater than 1. So what does 1 tells to his left neighbor? Hey left neighbor, can I borrow 1? It doesn't matter, the left neighbor is of just besides or just before the decimal point. Just do like a simple five digit subtraction. Don't worry about decimal point if you have written them one after the other. So six becomes five and the one is given here. So it became 11. 11 minus three now we can do, it's eight. Five minus three is two. One minus one is zero. So the answer is 2.850 liter. Zero to is two. 2.850 liter or in other words 2 liters and 850 milliliter. So this problem is nothing like but it's like a 5 digit subtraction except you need to ensure the mil, the liter is are written one after the other all the decimal points are aligned to each other just one below other and after decimal point you have three digits to represent the milliliter aspects of it, right? Let's take one last problem. 39.350 liter minus 29.800 liters. So 0 minus 0 is 0, 5 minus 0 is 5, 3 minus 8 we cannot do because 8 is greater than 3. So we go to its left neighbor, 9 becomes 8, 9 lends a 1 to 3 so 3 becomes 13 13 minus 8 we can do now so it's 5 8 minus 9 we want to do but 9 is greater than 8 so it goes to the left neighbor it says can I borrow 1 3 becomes 2 and gives 1 to 8 remember 9 is cut because it gave it to 1 to 3 so when it this one comes it will be attached to uh, 8 so it becomes 18 18 minus 9 we can do which is 9 2 minus 2 0 so the answer is 9.550 liter or 9 liter and 550 milliliter so it's pretty simple it's, you may think it's very complicated but as long as you write the numbers correctly it's nothing but a 3 or 4 or 5 digit subtraction which you are doing so keep practicing Keep smiling like this bunny. Bye-bye children.